Welcome back to the channel. If you are someone who loves taking videos, whether you do it for fun or for some serious content creation, this video might be for you because today something just arrived. This is the Insta360 Flow. So if you're interested with the smartphone gimbal, stay tuned. Before anything else, if you are new to the channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. At the front of the box, of course, you have the branding. It comes in two colors, the white and stone gray, which we have here. At the back of the box, we have a few information and they also give us a list of what's inside the box and the different things you can do with the Insta360 Flow. On this side of the box, we have your features. And on the other side are just some photos showing off the Insta360 Flow. To open the box, we simply pull the side out that's held with magnets, revealing the Insta360 Flow unit itself. On the side, we can see a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up, which is very nice. Open this up, and we can just pull out our Insta360 Flow. Beside it, we can see another box. Just gently take that out. This contains the rest of your accessories. So within this box, we have some documents and of course your warranty card. Also included, you have here a protective pouch and a rubber grip. That's actually gonna be handy, especially if you are planning on using your Insta360 Flow for an extended period of time. Inside this little box, you have your magnetic phone clamp and of course, your USB to Type-C charging cord. Now let's proceed to setting it up. Parts are labeled with numbers so we can just follow that. On the phone clamp, just look for the direction indicator on the side. Your phone's camera should follow where the arrow points. To attach your phone to the flow, notice that you have an indentation over here that will fit exactly on the other side. This makes sure that your phone attaches only one way. Failure on attaching it properly may lead to your phone falling off. You can see here that an arrow points to the direction that your handle needs to go. So you just have to pull that handle down and after that, just release the top and it will automatically turn on and balance your phone. To put on the included rubber grip, all you have to do is turn off the flow by holding the power button down, then sliding in the grip. Under your handle, you'll find the built-in tripod. If you pull the legs halfway, you get a little more room for a better grip. And if you extend them further, you turn it into a tripod stand. One other feature of the Flow is it comes with its own selfie stick. Just pull the top off and extend the selfie stick. You can also adjust the top part. This is very useful when you want to film yourself or if you want to shoot from a higher perspective. To connect the flow to your phone, you'll need the Insta360 app, so go ahead and download that. The first time you connect the flow, there will be prompts that you need to follow, but after this, the flow will connect automatically. Let's take a look at the Insta360 app. Here at the top, you have your general settings, your flow setting, exposure setting, resolution and frame rate. And you also have a few more options right here. Down here, you can switch between your phone's cameras. And right below that are your different camera modes. Now, let's check out the Insta360 Flow itself and see how this works. So as you can see below, here is your power button. Just press and hold to turn on or off. You can start or stop recording with the record button on the left. The right button switches your camera from the back to the front and vice versa. Double tap this button and it will switch your phone between portrait mode and landscape mode. The joystick in the center controls your movement from left, right, up, and down. Then to recenter your camera, just double tap the trigger located at the back of the grip. If you want to film yourself with the back camera, 
you can flip your phone by tapping the trigger three times and flipping it back with the same command. Then right here, you can use the wheel to zoom in and out. Let's take a look at our shooting modes. Although this indicator show only four shooting modes, the Insta360 Flow actually have six. Auto mode is a user-friendly mode that is activated by default when you turn on the flow. It follows your gimbal's pan and tilt movements. The sensitivity is also adjusted automatically according to the user's movement. To switch to the next mode, you can swipe to the right or to the left. Follow mode will let your gimbal follow your pan and tilt movements with a faster speed. This gives the gimbal a higher sensitivity to closely follow your movements. In pan follow mode, your gimbal will only follow your pan movements and your tilt axis is locked. In FPV mode, all three axes are unlocked and will follow any movements you do with the gimbal. This allows for more creative shots and freer movements. The lock mode is activated by holding down the trigger until all the indicator lights are on. This is confirming that you entered lock mode. In this mode, the gimbal doesn't follow any movement. Active Plus is a mode that you can apply to any of the other modes, except for lock mode. To activate, press the trigger once, then press again and hold until you see the indicator light blinking. That means you're on Active Plus. This mode provides a faster follow speed, just like a sport mode. This gives you the ability to follow fast-moving subjects and is perfect when shooting sports. The most exciting feature of this gimbal is its AI tracking. To activate deep track, you have two options. First one is you can draw a box around your subject and the flow will automatically track what's inside it. You can also activate deep track by pointing towards the subject and tapping the trigger button. Wondering if you can take a 360 photo with your phone? Well, the Flow can do that. To take a 360 photo, mount the phone clip on the front of your phone, then put the Flow on a stand. Go to the Insta360 app, go to Pano Photo Mode, set the custom duration so you have time to get out of the shot if you need to. Choose Sphere, lock your exposure and focus, then tap the shutter button. So what happens here is the flow takes multiple shots of different angles and stitches it to become a 360 photo. You just need to wait until the flow finishes the process. And there you have it, you have a 360 photo. I think that's it for this video, but on our next one, we'll take out this Insta360 flow and test it out on real environment. If you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next one.